Hello, it's Cindy Novotny with your Monday Mentor Moment. And as promised, I'm coming to talk to you about the magical moments of manners. Yes, seriously. I got so many comments when I posted about we've lost our manners. It's the wild, wild west. I knew this would be a fun little kick to the week. So one of the things I think is really important today with everything that's going on is that we really make people feel at ease. I think we have to watch our tongue, our mouth. We have to think about how we make people feel. I mean, there's so much anxiety and there's so much conflict in our world that the foundation of good manners is just enjoy the conversations and enjoy your time together. And obviously when dealing with clients, this is not a time to talk about politics or COVID or any of your opinions, manner number one. You know, the other thing is I've noticed I'm so sick of walking into a store and literally I see people standing around on their phones. These are people that work there, ignoring, not saying welcome, not saying, you know, hello, can I help you with anything? And I'm tracking them down. You know, I think it's time, if you're in the customer service industry listening to this, or you have a store or a business where people walk in, it needs to be genuine. You don't have to say, you know, like at some of the places, hi, welcome in, hi, welcome in. You don't have to make it scripted, but welcome. And then how can I help you? The other thing is when someone does something and you say, thank you, I never want to hear no problem. How about you're welcome? That is the answer to thank you. No problem, whatever. Stop it. Just stop it. The other thing is that you have to pay attention to how you act in public. Recently, I was working with a team of people and one person left the meeting for a few minutes and was having a screaming match with someone and we could all hear her. Now, not only could we hear her, but anybody else passing by. Take yourself outside, move away from everyone else, and then Stop talking on speaker and holding that phone like you think you're a Kardashian, okay? Stop it. Put the phone to your ear and have a conversation. Unless you're doing some reality show and the reason you have to do that is so everybody can hear the nonsense. But how many times are you sitting in a restaurant or even getting your nails done and the person right next to you is talking and blabbing and going on and the other one's like laughing? It's ridiculous. A speaker is for when you're driving. A speaker is when you're alone, not in front of people that you don't know. Now, dressing. I recognize that for the last two years, many people just worked in their sweats and tennis shoes. Hence why the lounge market has become so popular and have you ever seen more designer tennis shoes? I think everybody knows that during COVID, I wore my heels two to three times a week just to the office and I wore them faithfully so that I would be able to get into them once I hit the road. We have to go back to dressing for success. This is not old fashioned. This is about professionalism. People make a judgment call on you on how you look. So when your company says, oh, you can dress casual, Casual is not sloppy. Casual doesn't look like you've been homeless for a week. Casual means a smart pair of pants, a smart top, casual. For men, it's easy. They put on a pair of trousers and a shirt and they're ready to go. Women, not so much. Check yourself in the mirror. Ask your very best friend, do you think I look all right in this? And tell me the truth. Don't ask somebody who wants to just tell you what you wanna hear. Dress for the next job. Dress for what you want people to think of you. Very important. Now let's talk about table manners, okay? Most of you listening and most of the responses I got said, most of us learned our manners at home. And I'm hoping many of you like me were raised in a family where we were taught very good manners. And we were. I mean, my mother, my grandmother, it was you sit down. It was a full dinner. You use the napkin, the napkin one in your lap. You know, my grandmother, we always, and it wasn't even that fancy, but we always had the soup spoons and the salad fork and we were trained. We didn't have to watch, you know, Titanic to know how to use our silverware. But I've been watching people recently when we've been dining with out to lunch 
doesn't even matter the age. And it's like over the last couple of years, they've been just sitting, eating at their desk, sitting and eating where they've been doing all their Zoom calls. So wrong. And that takes me to eating on Zoom calls. Okay, no, stop. Even internally, your internal meetings, it's terrible that you're crunching on a pretzel. Nobody can hear you and each other because we're crunching. So pay attention, pay attention to this. Those of you that have to entertain clients, I do think it's important that you do need to sit down with your boss and your leader and talk about what is the protocol for ordering wine or ordering drinks? What is the protocol? How do we go about this? Think about really what your company stands for and what you should and should not be doing. Now at home, you know, one of the things that I have always prided myself in, and I know Carla Michael from our team is incredible. We had a huge team event and a lot of our trainers stayed at her house and there were welcome amenities. I mean, it's like she's the concierge of, of her you know, neighborhood. And, you know, written on the mirror was a welcome sign and she had all their favorite things. So you can become that elaborate. And I like to do that too. I have flowers for my guests when they come. But let's just go with some of the basic things. Let's make sure you're prepared for your guests. Not just plopped on the couch so when the doorbell rings, you scream, come on in, okay? Let's start to bring a little bit of old-fashioned hospitality into how we entertain. Then when you're a guest, yes, you should say, can I take the sheets off the bed? And can I put them in the wash? Can I help do this? Can I go ahead, let me bring the laundry down? When you're a guest, leave it better than you found it. Not you just come in, thanks a lot, and out the door. This isn't a B&B, &B, by the way. You're a guest in someone's home. And then my last will be my favorite, and that is traveling. So, you know, we all have been seeing all the video clips of the people going wild and wacky on the planes. But here's my point. I haven't seen one of those craziness things. Nobody screamed at my face, and I wear my mask because I don't want to get kicked off, and I follow the rules, and I do whatever I have to do. But it's more than just that. It is the pushing, the shoving. I thought we're supposed to be six feet apart anyway. It is not helping the elderly. It is not helping somebody with a baby. It is not extending yourself. I do this all the time. It is so important that you put your headphones in or your ear pods and you don't let the kid you're traveling with play their obnoxious game next to me with no headphone on. I mean, I'm sorry, when I look at the mom and the mom has her ear pods in and she's watching whatever show she's watching and her son is sitting next to her, bing, 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 bing. I have to give feedback at that point. I'm very polite about it, but I simply stand up and say, excuse me, I have to do this because she can't hear me. Your son, does he have a headset too? Because the whole plane can hear his pong and his ping and his boom. Stop. So put your cap on now and think about the magical moments of manners, because this is gonna get you much farther than anything else as we go forward. Have a wonderful week and I'll see you next time.